Hi, in my previous video, I did a teardown of this Chrome Height MV216A voltage standard. And as I mentioned in that video, this uh, voltage standard uh, had a DC uh, battery power supply option, but it didn't come with the battery. So I thought I would uh, just uh, do some digging and uh, come up with my own battery pack for this uh, uh, DC voltage standard. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how uh, to do that. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at how the external power uh, supply works. And uh, as I posted in my uh, blog posting last time, and if you look at the, uh, the circuit diagram for uh, the internal and the external power, actually it's quite simple. So the, when it's on external AC power, Basically, the, uh, the power goes through the transformer and comes to this uh, bridge rectifier and goes out. I didn't show the, uh, the, the filter cap here, but uh, it, it converts to a DC voltage here. And then when, when on the external battery power, the battery goes through another set of uh, bridge rectifier and also um, comes to the same positive, uh, positive rail. So the, this arrangement makes sure that uh, you know, none of these circuit, circuits are back feeding into each other. So, um, so basically, essentially isolates the, uh, the AC uh, side of the power supply to your battery power supply. Now, the downside of this, obviously, is because you, know, you have this uh, voltage drops through the, uh, the, the um, rectifier diodes. Uh, you're going to waste some, kind, some energy through these diodes. But um, uh, it is a you know, very uh, simple and safe way to, to do this kind of power supply. And here's the uh, external battery pack I built using used laptop uh, lithium-ion batteries. Uh, these, this pack is uh, two in parallel and uh, three in series. Um, so it generates about 11 volts, uh, uh, you know, give or take, um, in operation. Now, you need to be very careful when using lithium-ion batteries, especially the kind like this uh, without uh, protection, because you don't want to accidentally short these leads and then create excessive uh, current that would uh, you know, start a fire and uh, possibly cause some other damage. So for that, I added this polyfuse that uh, would uh, limit the current at about 3 amps. Um, this is plenty for this power supply, uh, for the, sorry, for this voltage standard. Um, I think when it's in operation, the, uh, the average current would be uh, less than 500 milliamps. So um, this would be definitely enough for our operation, so let's take a look at how I uh, we add this up, uh, add this to the uh, the voltage standard, and see if it works. And as we mentioned last time, the uh, uh, external battery power can be connected through this uh, DIN connector um, at the back. So I at the moment do not have any uh, mating connectors for this uh, output. So. I will just uh, tap into the pins directly um, and just take a look at whether it works or not. So let's take a look at uh, what are uh, pin connections. And for that I remove the top cover again and we'll see that uh, uh, here is where the key was. So the top one is positive, the bottom is negative. The polarity, uh, not the bottom, the, ne the one next to it is negative. The polarity of this really doesn't matter as it goes through a, a bridge rectifier. So either way you put your uh, supply voltage in, it's gonna uh, work the same way. So the other pins are unconnected. Uh, this one is for the earth ground. We, we don't really care about this one right now. So we'll just connect these two up and take a look. Okay, so let's uh, put this pin on the, uh, the top, which is our positive, and um, the next one is uh, ground, negative. So let's take a look at uh, uh, if we get anything. Okay, so now that the external uh, power, uh, battery pack is connected, uh, I turn it around so you can see it this better. So now, as you can see, that uh, the external power uh, stays on. So uh, there's n you know, not a separate switch uh, for this external power to, to turn off. 
either you are on AC, uh, this would be on, or on an external battery, this would be on. But I don't think it takes much power uh, at, at the moment when it's uh, just this LED. Now, uh, let's turn on the, uh, the power supply, uh, the, the voltage center, rather. Okay, so it looks like... Um, Okay, so oh, okay, so this battery. Uh, remember when we were on uh, the DC power supply? Uh, sorry, when we were on AC power supply, uh, this thing goes. Uh, the meter goes all the way to the green side. Now it stays in the uh, white and just over the uh, the the red region. So presumably that uh, is not high enough. So I assume it's probably needing let you know at least. Uh, uh, 15 volts external and uh, which makes sense when you have this 1.4 uh, diode drop it would drop to a accept, acceptable region but anyway so let's take a look nevertheless to see uh, if it works uh, for that I will uh, use this uh, because we're on battery so I'm going to use this uh, um, if you look if you can see here hang on so if you recall that I made this, this modification to this uh, Keithley 197 uh, multimeter. So uh, this one actually right now is battery powered. So I'm going to use this to check the accuracy of uh, uh, the voltage standard. So let me just put it up here. Uh, okay, it would be a little messy here. Oh, whoops, sorry. So, yep, you can see. So right now, let's take a look. Uh, I could have just a put the legs back but hey so right now the voltage standard is set to 5 point, uh, 0 0.555555 volt so let's take a look at how accurate it is uh, I don't expect any problems so let's put to uh, so I'm not sure if you can see this but it's a uh, 0.55554 so it's uh, you know pretty much bang on now um, so yeah, so definitely looks like external power supply uh, works, and uh, um, as I said earlier, it takes about uh, 0.4 amps. So a set of battery like this can easily run for uh, a day, you know, like uh, five six hours without uh, any problems. So let's now take a look at the uh, power uh, consumption of this. Uh, uh, I have the I have the battery here, and uh, now uh, I have this lid, this lead rather, connecting to uh, the terminal directly, and uh, I will take a look at the the current. And as you can see, it's uh, it's actually far lower than 500 milliamps. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the uh, uh, the current draw. So uh, you know, if you have a battery pack, uh, this device this uh, DC voltage standard is going to be able to uh, you know remain battery powered for uh, quite a few hours so now let's take a look at how we utilize the uh, internal battery power uh, function uh, the internal battery power uh, as I showed last time for, from the uh, this board layout we can, uh, the positive is coming in from this fuse, uh, which the fuse was removed. So I will connect the positive here. And the bottom, uh, the, the ground of the battery, the negative terminal of the battery is not connected to this uh, circuit ground uh, here, but it's uh, con connected to uh, uh, this terminal. So, so basically I'm gonna uh, put the battery in right now so you can see um, how it works. And now the battery is connected, and uh, I'm going to turn the uh, the meter on, so we can see uh, what is uh, uh, we can see if it works. Okay, I turn the meter on, and now I'm going to uh, show you what the uh, the multimeter going to read. So I'm going to uh, zoom in here, and I'm going to turn on the multimeter. So this is the same setting uh, as before. So let's take a look. And uh, yep, so the output is uh, again 0 0.55555. So that's exactly as I, what I said. Uh, previously we're uh, getting a 0 0.55554, uh, 
and either that's because the, the supply voltage is a little bit low or uh, you know it's just a variation uh, uh, anyway so so that's very accurate as you can see so the last thing I want to do is uh, try to take a look at uh, the current draw um, of this uh, when it's powered internally and also when the circuit is charging uh, what type of uh, what what kind of current is charging through the uh, the battery? So I basically right now uh, hooked this uh, circuitry uh, through this uh, multimeter in uh, in 2000 milliamp me measurement mode. So that's plenty for uh, for our purpose. So now uh, the unit is turned off. As you can see, it's uh, not drawing any current. And that I think is just a, um, just a residual value because obviously it's not being charged right now. So that's just a residual 0 0.05 amp, uh, sorry, milliamp. So now let me turn on uh, the voltage standard. And as you can see, that uh, uh, the current draw stabilizes around 380, uh, 382 milliamps. So, so that's what we had before. So now what I'm interested in is when I plug in this unit, uh, what the current going to be, become. So let me plug the current here, plug the unit here. Okay, so right now it's plugged in. Now, as you can see, the, uh, the sign of the current changed to negative, which means now um, instead of, uh, instead of uh, sourcing current, the, the battery pack is actually taking in a charge at uh, 58 57 milliamps. So now if I turn off the, uh, the voltage standard, uh, I expect to see that uh, voltage jump because there's no load anymore. Yep, so the current, sorry, the current jumped to uh, 252 uh, milliamps. So that's kind of our uh, charging current when the, uh, the unit is powered off. Now obviously I don't think I would want to uh, keep the, uh, the, the battery in this device, um, I probably will use it as external only through this external uh, AMP connection. The reason for that is uh, obviously uh, this unit was not designed for uh, lithium ion battery charging. So it, um, so it could be you know taking excessive current uh, through this battery and damaging it. And also um, you know a lot of the older units take either uh, uh, take a floating charge approach. So it's either charging a uh, nickel cadmium battery or a uh, lead acid battery, so which is more tolerant to overcharging at a floating level especially. So uh, nevertheless, uh, you know, we, we kind of figure out the battery option of this uh, unit. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I will catch up with you next time.